yeast infection of your breasts. My loves, have you subscribed? <laughs> what you waited for? Subscribe? <laughs> what you waited for? It's brilliant, doll. If it can work for your vagina, I think it could work for you. I have breast sweat. Hi, somebody. Hey, hi, somebody. Hey, 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 somebody. Welcome, welcome to Rebel for a spell, darlings, where it is about you, where you can be the truest version of yourselves. Be the truest you. Trust your decisions. Welcome to the Fambalam. If you are a new subscriber, we love your bandit channel. Darling, subscribe, please, my loves. Here we give you the truth, the tarofa. <laughs> we delve into personal growth, wellness, body, mind, and spirit, self-care. That's what this video is about, should I? Because we love you, bandit channel. And, well, we have breasts. <laughs> yes, we do, darlings. Let's talk breast care, hygiene, and other self-care bits. <laughs> so, breasts are made up of fatty tissues. And behind that fatty tissues, my love, there are pectoral muscles, there are ligaments that are connected, and with that, through that connection, that may contribute to the different size of breasts that we may have. All of that may contribute to the density of our breasts. Darlings, why am I having this video? Because I think in one of the other videos, I said, hey guys, I have dense breasts, go check out dense breast foundation. I'll leave some links for you because once you have a certain breast size, certain density, there's a more uh, greater chance for you to develop certain types of conditions. So that's why we have all these types of education videos. All right, darling, let's talk breast care, hygiene, and other bits, self-care, rebel for a spell. So we talked about the breast composition, now let's talk about another thing that we, some of us, may experience. We have different sizes of breasts, right? We have different breast cups. A cup, B cup, C cup, D cup, D, 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 E cup, F cup, G cup. Have you subscribed yet? What you waiting for? <laughs> Subscribe, baby. <laughs> Subscribe, my loves. You get value. You learn and grow with me, your girl, one from our first book. So we have different breast cups, A, B, C, and so forth. And what also contributes to the size of your breast is your overall body weight, your body mass index, genetics, and so forth. Your legs. All right, let's talk about certain conditions that come naturally with having breasts. Intertrigo and yeast infections. Yes, my loves, I just said those two together. And we're talking about, let's talk breast care, <laughs> hygiene, and other self-care bits. In Tertrigo, yeast infection of your breasts. Have you ever heard that, darlings? <laughs> I didn't. Let's talk breast care, hygiene, and other self-care bits. Rebel for a spell. In Tertrigo is essentially a rash that appears underneath the folds of skin. Affects your armpits, affects your groin area, where there's folds of your skin and it presents an opportunity for moisture, humidity to gather, and heat causes an inflammation in flame. What does that mean? Irritation. My loves, have you subscribed? <laughs> what you did for? Subscribe? <laughs> what you did for? That causes your skin to break down and you may get a rash. It's not contagious, my love. Your skin is just irritated. So that's why we have this video to give you a little bit of solutions to dealing with and caring for your breast hygiene and care. All right, darling, so as a result of that, that can contribute to yeast infection. Underneath the breast is very cold. The more space you have presents a larger opportunity for that warmth and moisture and humidity to develop. So that's something we have to be mindful of. My loves, have you subscribed? <laughs> what you waited for? Subscribe? <laughs> what you waited for? So here we go, darlings. Wear breathable, number one, number uno. Wear breathable clothing where possible, darling. Moisture cannot get trapped underneath. 
next solution i offer to you my loves i offer to you everybody's body is different everybody's lifestyle is different there ain't no judgment i take more frequent showers especially if i'm out and about on a saturday or a sunday and oh my gosh i come back inside i'm literally dripping with sweat because it is what it is the sun is shining i mean i mean even if i'm wearing my shorts or my bathing suits or whatever i'm still gonna sweat we're human beings we're moving and i tend to use that time to walk faster and get a little burn maybe get a little taste of that exercise get the heartbeat going i have a minimum of two showers a day if it's in the summer and i'm out and about sometimes i have up to four showers a day yes dogs because i'm in and out of the house i don't keep my bra on very long off you go no sweat is sitting and gathering and moisture is is staying on my body no no uncomfortable dogs so that's what i offer let's talk breasts care hygiene and other bits self-care rebel for a spell my loves have you subscribed <laughs> what you did for subscribe <laughs> what you do my loves let's talk breast care hygiene and other bits self-care rebel for a spell solution number three that i offer you to deal with moisture and possibly enter to go and yeast infection underneath your breasts that means warm air moisture is gathering and can cause your rash irritation it can get itchy we want you to be comfortable darlings this is about your good good becoming the truest you your self-care elevation darlings number three you may use decide to use a tissue or a paper towel i have it on the screen for you my loves to put between your bra and your skin so it literally is the fall underneath your bra underwire wire free bra you that may provide some comfort to you where the moisture is trapped in the tissue and so it doesn't cushion an economical solution or you may decide hey i'm just going to use some toilet paper because it's at hand toilet paper breaks down faster so you may have to repair that quickly and it also um, shreds and puckers so that's something to think about the paper towel may last a bit longer for you all right, darlings, we're talking about breast care, hygiene, and other bits. Self-care, rebel for a spell. Number four, darlings, number four. Liners, panty liners. I said it, darlings. You know, I tell the truth on this channel. <laughs> panty liners, I have done it, especially the thin ones. You're looking at the screen, my love, the thin panty liners. You put that, you know, one side has that uh, adhesive tacky feeling the other side is just that cotton or that fiber that is used to absorb the moisture it's brilliant doll if it can work for your vagina i think it can work for your sweat that's what i figured out so that's what i use it for doubles and it absorbs it's nice and thin i can wear my sexy marmalade dresses and feel comfortable that it's not going to show through dogs my loves have you subscribed <laughs> what you did for subscribe what do we do? Have you subscribed? Thumbs it up if you're loving what you're seeing. Tell us what you need from this channel, darlings. We're talking about breasts, care, hygiene, and other bits. Self-care, rebel for a spell. Darling, we're talking about how to prevent intertrigo and possibly eliminate the chances of you getting yeast infection underneath your breasts. Do you know what this is? I hope if you, you do know what this is, if you have a vagina or you deal with somebody who has a vagina, or you're just curious about it. This is a sanitary napkin, my love. This may provide solutions for you if you have excessive amounts of sweating or you're engaging in certain activities, or you're gonna be out and about for a longer period of time, darlings. This is a super thin, um, zero feel, 10 hours leak-free. You know, I have different sizes of, of um, sanitary napkin shall we say dogs go look at the menstruation video we have a partner menstruation video part two coming up for you dogs because it's all about self-care rebel for a spell this my love take a look at your screen you can put the tacky part that is with the adhesive underneath the underneath your shirt and have this part your blouse your dress whatever garment you're wearing and have this part adhere to the part of your blouse that part of your dress that is going to be away from your skin so this part will be away from your skin take a look at your screen and this part that can absorb the moisture will be touching your breast underneath the folds of your breast so that the moisture can be absorbed all this 
is a remedy, the downside of this, and by the way, dolls, everything I'm telling you here, I have used, and I needed to get solutions. I talk about it in a video. Anybody can help me with my breast sweat? Let's talk about it. That's what this channel is about. Telling the truth, mental clarity, <laughs> personal growth, mental health, wellness. It's all about sharing, darlings. And that can work. Subscribe, church. What you waiting for? Subscribe. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Darlings, I'm gonna tell you the one that works for me. Love this, and I'm using it right now. Yes, darlings, I use. Lennox! <laughs> Can you see the smell of I hope you can see. Let me bring it a little closer. Cam cam. Yes, I use my deodorant. This is a natural deodorant that I use underneath my breast folds because it serves you, girl. I reapply it twice a day. It's very light and thin. Take a look at your screen. I reapply it twice a day. It's It smells like sage, one of my favorite, favorite herbs. It's refreshing, it ain't cheap. So I'm gonna show you an alternative on the screen, darlings. This is a natural, it doesn't have any of the bad stuff. It combats unpleasant odor and can, just like your underarm deodorant, that's what this is, darlings. Conditions and skin botanically and absolutely no antiperspirant or other harmful chemicals. After the skin is clean and dry, apply it to the underarm. But I use it for my breasts and my underarm. Of course, I clean the top, my loves. I use my hydroperoxide and I clean the very top before I put it under my breast. So, darlings, this is it. This is the solution that you go found because I am active quite a bit. I live in a warmer climate. I have breast sweat. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to talk about it. So, here it is, darlings. I'll show you on the screen. Can you see that, my loves? It's very, very thin. And it's so thin and light and it's very refreshing I let it air dry for about five minutes or so and I throw on my gloves throw on my arm my outfit whether it's close fitting or loose fitting and it's fabulous it doesn't ruin my bra I have no troubles at all my love just solutions for you because I'm dealing with my breasts. I am not trying to solve something else and cause another problem. And we have to be mindful deodorants and breast cancer have been proven to have certain connections. So darling, that's why I use naturale <laughs> deodorant. I hope this video has helped you with your breasts, understanding remedies for your breast care, hygiene, and other self-care bits. Darling, subscribe to the Bell for a Spell. We're here every Sunday. We love you, Pondy Channel. Well, let me ask you a question before you leave here, sweet pea. John Langs, do you have breast sweat issues? Have you ever suffered from breast sweat? Oh no, somebody. This video may be helpful. Leave a comment for us in the comment section below, my love, and we tell the truth. <laughs> oh, it's a very Subscribe. Hey, <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Some love in it. It's a lot of love mints, strolling. Love mints as they say in my island. <laughs> Don't lie. Another video is waiting for you.